Hey guys, welcome to my another vlog. Well, actually, I'm going to do a reaction without screen reveal because today we're about to hear, you guys are going to about to hear this audio, but I'm not going to show you. If I do, it's going to get copyrighted. So anyway, today's reaction, we're about to do that. We're about to hear Joe Biden's get to know Joe. As you know, Joe for President 2020. As you know, it was the DNC. It is the first anniversary of his DNC Democratic National Convention. And as you know, they made his history about his career, about his flashback, back his childhood. And and when he was and when he was a a young man, he he became the the senator of Vermont. And then he became the vice president and now the president of the United States. Due to the pandemic of America, it was it was very awful before there was there was a whole lot of pandemic out there. So anyway, let's get this reaction started in three, two, one, and it's the first anniversary, and I didn't make a reaction because I forgot. So let's get this reaction started. Three, two, one. And I love you, Dad. And here it is. Our lives have been turned upside down, shattered, and shaken. But the American story has had moments like this before. And he was there, answering the call. When we came into office in 2009, we were going through what was then the worst financial and economic crisis since the Great Depression. The economy was hemorrhaging hundreds of thousands of jobs a week. People were losing their homes to foreclosure. The financial system was in tatters. Auto sales had dropped to near zero levels. The auto companies faced bankruptcy. And many said, let them fail. Say but job. Joe remembered his father and what it meant to lose a job. The Finnegans and Bidens were Irish Catholic. Joe was their first. And then his sister Valerie. From the moment I opened my eyes, my big brother was there. The thing that was most important was family and family and family. As the post-war boom faded, Joe's father struggled to find work in Scranton. But 140 miles south, there was a job cleaning boilers in Wilmington. There was a long stairway up to the second floor. Dad went up to Joey in our bedroom and saying, Joey, you gotta be a big boy. For the first time, Joe saw the heavy burden on a father. And it was a lesson he would never forget. The job is a lot more than a paycheck. It's about dignity. The country was losing tens of thousands of jobs a day. And they needed three votes to pass the economic rescue package. Three Joe votes Biden to was pass. The task of going to get those three Republican votes. Joe returned to the place where he had been so effective. Passionate argument, sympathetic listening. A uh, willingness to make adjustments and accommodations to bring people on board. When the law finally passed, the president tapped his partner to run the program. Joe tracked every dollar, calling mayors and governors. Talking to them on the phone, one on one. He gave all of them his cell phone. And I watched a lot of him jobs he did. That job. After it he was vice president. That you have in your mind the family that you're trying to reach, the neighborhood that you're trying to reach, the people whose lives are affected by what you do. The skills that had made him so effective had not come easy. When he entered school, there was a problem. Joe had a stutter. And it's mortifying. It allows that child to become an object of ridicule. When his teacher mimicked him and Joe ran home from school, his mother drove him back. Did you say to my son, Mr. B -B Biden, the 
nun said, I was just trying to make a point. My mother stood up, all five foot two of her. If you ever talk to my son like that again, I'll come back and rip that damn bonnet off your head. Do you understand me? That teached her a lesson. Joe resolved to overcome his stuff. That's horrible for Some Joe Biden's teacher. And I used to get up at night and go stand in front of the mirror with a flashlight and practice. She make me look her in the eye. Look at me. I'm glad her. Remember, hit, Joe, oh, sorry, his mom. Boy in that class. Stand up for her son. Nobody's better than you, Joe. Joe. From having to deal with stuttering, it gave me insight into other people's pain, other people's suffering. At 19, Joe sought out a summer job that few of his peers considered taking. He was a lifeguard along with the black lifeguard. Oh, Bernie Sanders is about to have That's his life changed. And we became friends. It was one of the best things I've ever done because it gave me a sense that we really didn't know one another. After Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated, riots broke out in Wilmington. After before his state of Delaware was in flames, including my state. I quit a law firm and asked for a job to become a public defender. That's what sort of got me involved in politics. And then later he, he ran for the Senate. In a solidly Republican state. And few took Joe's campaign seriously. In Delaware, the Democratic Party was non-functional. When it got time to put up a candidate, they didn't want to touch it. This young upstart, Joe Biden, who had a lot of ideas and no money, no influence... The party said, okay, well then go ahead, Biden, give it a whirl. That's all I can add. Just look at you. Like we can see, help me out if not vote for the other fellow. Look me over if you would. You know, we'd have a coffee and we'd come out of that, we'd have five more coffees. He was very articulate on the issues. He, he brought people to say, not just that, well, I agree with what you're doing, is, you know, what can I do to help? Delaware is uh, the first state. J. Caleb Boggs, who is the incumbent Republican. Biden was taking the lead. By Joseph Biden. Biden is a Democrat who's 29 years of age. But exhilaration soon turned to tragedy. Since he was elected, his was wife was been killed. I'm not going to be a senator. Including his first daughter. Too much. I was prepared to walk away in 1973. And men like Ted Kennedy and Mike Mansfield and Hubert Humphrey, and Fritz Hollings, Danny and Owen. They convinced me to stay. To stay six months, Joe. Remember, Danny? To stay six months. He six couldn't months. allow the suffering to debilitate him. That's like he couldn't allow the stuttering to define him. That's the backbone. There's something bigger than Joe's suffering. The Senate turned out to be a wonderful place for him. He had a real gift for bringing people together. The three of them had a bond that was forged in sorrow and expanded into joy when Jill entered. They had built this beautiful family, this circle of trust. And then the extra gift of Ashley. Growing up, it was full of adventure, laughter. We do everything as a family, and we've always done everything as a family. He, he was always a good, loving father. I mean, there's nothing more important to Joe than his children. It's hard to explain how ever-present he was in our lives. You don't have to guess what my dad believes. A great benefit of being my father is that he doesn't have to contort himself into different people at different times. Bo was going to do fine things. I mean, he had it all. And then he got sick. And then when he was, and then Joe Biden was been vice president, he, his the son got cancer. And it felt like we were all falling off. And Bo, Once again, I love you. Joe You're my brother. Unimaginable. Let God love you. My mother... She said, bravery resides in every heart, and someday it will be summoned. I love you, twin brother. The way he survived losing my mom and my sister, and then losing my brother, is understanding that, that you have to have purpose. 
Every day I get up, I ask myself, I hope he's proud of me. Because that's the thing that makes me move on. From his time in the Senate and then the White House, Joe always found a way forward, forging unlikely friendships and alliances. And time after time, he made progress possible and always holding in his heart the struggles of his family and every family, always fighting to make his country whole. It's a very rare quality to bring your empathy skills to the process of governing. Joe Biden never forgets that that's the point of moving the wheels of government. He will keep his word. He will reach out and hear what other people have to say. To have somebody who believes in what's best in us, somebody like Joe Biden who actually believes in the American idea, that's the kind of person who uh, I want in the White House. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that is this. That is that is Joe Biden's flashback on the Democratic National Convention. That was last year, and this is the first anniversary that came out in t August 20, 2020. So if and I'm about to do a, a Joe Biden speech later, and I think I'll tell after WWE Friday Night SmackDown after my live stream reaction. We'll do that. I'll see if I can do that right now. If I do have time to upload. So if you guys like this video, please make sure you subscribe, drop a like, and comment below how you love this video. And don't forget you also to follow me on Twitter as well. And I'll see you guys later tonight on WWE Friday Night Smackdown. See you later, everyone.